Tuberculosis is such a bad disease because it remains one of the most deadly diseases or infectious diseases on Earth. Essentially, there's a person who dies every 20 seconds. My lab works primarily with biochemistry, physiology, drug development, uh, development of drug resistance. So the work that we're doing with Carmen is a collaborative effort that's different for us. It's, it's something that's, that's brand new. This is the very first instrument that can actually map composition at the nanoscale in 3D, where we are plotting in three dimensions different molecular components. And so this allows you to, to understand what this particular sample is made out of, I mean, and what, what, is, what is there. And that's very important. So imagine instead of uh, looking at the uh, regular microscopic image of the bacterium. You look at the same image, but you have information on what is inside this bacterium. You might be able to customize treatment for specific cell types under specific conditions. If we can identify all the molecules in a given cell in a given physiological state, you may be able to develop path or identify pathways, biosynthetic pathways, that are good drug targets for that state as opposed to being sort of a generic good drug target. The number of applications that uh, you know, a laser can have pretty much is, you know, um, uh, depends on the user. You know, we hope down the road that we'd be actually able to look at individual bacteria, look at the effects of drugs on the individual bacteria, look at the behavior of individual bacteria and the chemical composition using that instrument. This technique can be applied in uh, analysis of biological tissues. Uh, it can be uh, applied in uh, material analysis. Mm -hmm just has so many <laughs> fields of applications. Well, we're developing a much more refined instrument. Maybe going from a knife to a scalpel. <laughs>